Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. We have already learnt in previous two videos about pattern matching and regular expressions and in this video we will further continue in Perl programming about data extraction and pattern matching. We feel that there should be a practical example to help understand about the concept that how powerful a pattern matching in Perl can be. Let us consider an example here and if you can see that in this paragraph it is consisting of multiple sentences in which there are certain numbers and our task is to extract a date out of this. So date here is this one which is in the form of DDM and YYYY. So there is month of only a single digit but you have a date in two digits and year in four digits. We have to extract it out of it. Now we need to understand that this date can be appearing anywhere in the text and we don't know the position of it. So we are not aware where it can be appearing but we need to extract it out. All we know is the format of the date and similarly there is a phone number in which we have two digits before the decimal and six digits after the decimal. We need to extract this phone number also out of this particular paragraph. To start with we have already seen that the date consists of integers and in Perl integers can be represented in the format of backslash D. So backslash D means it will represent the decimal. This is a single decimal that it will represent. But we don't know how many decimals it will be. So one or more decimals means we have to add plus after that. That mean, this particular pattern means there can be one or more integers in the paragraph. Now after that we have a dot. So if after the date if you see there is a dot here. So to represent the dot we have to put a dot like this but we but tool will not understand we have to add backslash before this that will escape it and then only Perl compiler will be able to understand that there is a dot and we have to match this pattern. So this pattern represents that there is one or more integers and after that there is a dot and after that again there will be one or more integers. So this particular pattern will be repeated again and after that there is a dot and after that again we need one or more integers like this. So this particular pattern means this is your matching pattern with the date and to complete the pattern we have to put it in the parenthesis. So if we put it in parenthesis like this, this becomes the full pattern and after this we will put it in the forward slashes like this. Specifying like this means this is now a full pattern which has to be searched in the text variable. So if you see here variable is this that is text variable. So we name the variable like this and after that if we put it like this. So this equal to and tilde means that you are asking the tool or you, your compiler to search for this particular pattern in this string. So this will be a variable and when we put it in the parenthesis again like this then it becomes a full regular expression that is you are asking the Perl compiler to search for this particular string in this, in this pattern with this pattern. So this is now full and we have to assign it to something. So we are saying that this is our date and once this date is complete now you can save it and we can try to run it. Now if you simply go and run it it will not run because there is no print command. So first we need to write print date here then only we will be able to run it and see the output. Alright this is the command line. So if we do ls we can see that this is the file name. Now if we do Perl and then pattern matching so you can see that date is correctly getting extracted here. Now coming back to our next task, next task is to extract the phone number and we know that there is one decimal in between two decimals two digits before the decimal and six digits after the decimal that is the pattern and we have to extract it we don't know the position of this pattern. So what we can do is we know that one integer represents backslash d. So we backslash d and after that we know that one or more is represented by plus but we need a specific count that is two digits before the decimal. So that can be specified like this in the curly braces. That means that two or more digits can two digits exactly it will match. 
not two or more, not one. It will exactly match two digits only. And after that, our pattern is dot and that we specify with the escape sequence like this. And after that, we need again integers, but we need exactly six integers after that. So this becomes our pattern now. And this pattern we will specify in the brackets like this. And after specifying like this, we have to search it in the text format. So again, variable is text. We specify it like this. And this is telling the compiler that we have to match this pattern. And for matching, it has to be specified in the forward slashes like this. So this becomes your full regular expression, which should be in the parenthesis like this. And this is your final result. And that has to be stored in some variable. So let's say phone is variable in which we are storing it. And after that, we have to print it. So let's print like this phone. And after that, variable phone. So this way you can search for phone number and we have to check whether it is correctly reflecting the output or not. Before we go ahead and check, first please note that what happens sometimes is Perl compiler is not able to understand it correctly and assign the output properly. So we put the parenthesis for the output variable also like this. Then only you will be getting proper output because sometimes Perl uh, compiler will not be able to interpret the output correctly and assign it properly. Now we should see the output. So here you can see that this is the file and if we try to run it like this, then you can see that this was the date and since we have not put any next line character, so that is why it is reflecting just after that. This is the phone number which we have extracted from the pattern matching. This is just one example and there are many possible examples for pattern matching. And that is all for this video. We will come up with more concepts in further videos. Till then, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.